Hello, I'm Lucrezia Minerini. There's been thousands of commuters this year affected by the strikes on Southern Rail. Another walkout started today and hundreds of commuters once again battled their way through the disruption. But what about the impact on business? Well, the boss of the body shop told ITV News London today so many people now arrive late to work at their HQ in Croydon. It's costing the company time and money. He spoke exclusively to Rhea Chatterjee. If only strikes passed by this quickly. That is no doubt what southern passengers are thinking this evening as they realize they're going nowhere fast. These pictures show the last walkout over the same issue. The sticking point is that they want to remove the role of the safety critical guard. They want to remove that person so that they can run their trains without that person on board, save money and increase their profits. Meanwhile, many are just worried about getting home. My poor boyfriend hears me screaming down the phone more than he ever should because I get so angry about the trains and missing appointments and not being able to be there for, for him or our friends and family when I need to. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jessie works at the Body Shop HQ in East Croydon. She's one of the 92% of workers here reliant on the train to get to work. My team, when they arrive to the office, they're in a bad mood, of course. I'm also in a bad mood sometimes when I arrive uh, to the office, if it takes me one and a half hour. So Christmas is very, very important. Luckily, the and, uh, boss is understanding the when they're late for work. The, the chief executive of this global brand says the continuous strikes are bad for business. Frankly, I'm finding it very hard to convince people to join us, great talent, because they're concerned about what they can see with the trains. And he's concerned about hosting overseas business partners. We're too worried that we'll make a bad impression, so we have to meet them in airports or something. So what do you think could be the long-term impact if things continue this way? Well, I think the first thing is I would just make a simple plea. Please, please, please sort this out. Actually, I think it's a fantastic train service. Not many people say that. But I am going to say it on camera because I believe it. Do you really it. believe that? I really, really believe it. And that's why I was willing to move my office from London to East Croydon because of the many rail companies I go on worldwide. Frankly, Southern is actually brilliant. And I really do say that, sincerely. Apart from it's messing up your Except business. Except now, for these last months where it's messing up the business. Southern says the strikes are pointless as many conductors have already signed up to the new onboard role. We put an eight-point plan forward, which we felt would bring a resolution to this dispute. They have refused on countless occasions to go out to their members and let their members voice their view on that. Another four strikes are in the pipeline before New Year. Rhea Chatterjee, ITV News.